section we will learn about asymptotic analysis. We will learn why do we perform analysis given two algorithms how do we find out which one is better and does asymptotic analysis always works. Part 1 why perform analysis. Asymptotic analysis helps us to grasp the very important concept of efficiency in the code. So when we work with large problems, we will have a good sense of where the major slowdowns are likely to cause bottlenecks and where more attention should be paid to get the largest improvements. This is also called sensitivity analysis and is an important part of solving problems and writing great software. Part 2 Analysis between two algorithms Given two algorithms, how to find which one is better? Well, very naive way is we can directly record the execution time. Let us see how it's done. So I have made a class which contains two methods, one for linear search and other for binary search. I have made an object search from searching algos class. I have provided the clo start clock and stop clock and displayed the time of execution. So first let's provide a large input and start with linear search. So as you can see, linear search takes 2.963 seconds to execute a large input. Now let's execute the code for binary search. Binary search takes 0.051 seconds which is much less time than linear search. So binary search is faster than linear search. I have saved the code at the given URL. This will be provided in the description box as well. You can navigate to the URL and try to run your own algorithms and check their execution time. But it is not feasible for every program to be judged like this by providing inputs and then noting the time. So in asymptotic analysis is a better way to perform this. Asymptotic analysis is the big idea that handles such issues in analyzing algorithms. In asymptotic analysis, we evaluate the performance of an algorithm in terms of input size. That is, we don't measure the actual running time. We calculate how does the time or space taken by an algorithm increases with input size. Part 3. Does it always work? Sadly, no. Asymptotic analysis is not the perfect solution, but that's the best way available for analyzing algorithms. For example, if we have two algorithms, one having complexity n log n and another having complexity 1000 n log n, then in terms of asymptotic analysis, they both will be same as we always drop the constants. In asymptotic analysis, we always talk about input sizes larger than a constant value. It might be possible that those large inputs are never given to your software and an algorithm which is asymptotically slower always performs better for your particular solution. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.